Hello everybody, welcome back once again. I am now in Guangzhou. You might remember a few months ago, maybe two months ago by now, I went and drove the X-Punk P7. A lot of people took issue with some of the things I said about the P7, but uh, strangely enough, the people from X-Punk didn't have any issue with my video. They actually emailed me and said they liked my video, but they want me to get to know the car better. Which is understandable, I didn't know anything about the car, right? So today I'm here part of this activity where they have 10 X-Punk P7s and we're driving a circuit around Guangzhou and we're learning about the new navigation pilot system, NGP, Navigation Guided Pilot. So it's the level 3 autonomous driving that just came out for X-Punk. And today I'm driving the performance model so it's faster than the last one and uh, my turn to get in all right let's go okay so before I get started testing out the um, navigation guided pilot yeah I have to take a test about uh, their autopilot and I'm under the impression that it's gonna be a funny test <laughs> although I probably won't understand whatever the Chinese instructions are Nice How long is it? Five minutes? Okay. Let's see. No, just... All right. So right now it's my first time driving the P7 performance uh, model, and right now it's in performance mode. So we're going to test out the acceleration compared to the last time that I drove the P7. If you remember, I said, "Oh, this car, oh, it's okay, not that fast," but this time we're going to find out about the the real deal here, the real deal Holyfield. Let's get past this camera. Wait for this buzz. Yeah, make sure nobody's behind us. All right, so this car should be zero to one hundred in four point three. Yeah, four point three. Four point three. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, push you back in the seat. <laughs> push me back in the seat. <laughs> yeah. Nice. E by Okay, okay, okay. My uh. My guy here on next to me is already telling me to slow down. <laughs> nice. Okay, that was cool. So yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot more responsive than the uh, what is it? Standard model or does it have a name? Yeah, it's standard model, long range model. So you can get to okay. the MVP right now. Okay. So. All right. So now we are in NGP, which is the new 3.0 autopilot. Ooh, we're turning. Nice. That's cool. So I have to have my hands on the steering wheel. I can take them off, but after 20 seconds, I have to put them back on. All right? That's the... But the law is I have to keep them on. Uh-huh. Okay. So is there anything else I should know about NGP while I'm sitting here doing this? Mm, let me see. So you can do the... You can switch in the line by itself, and uh, you can autonomous, autonomously, you know, the speeding up, and you can... Yeah, do everything autonomously. So you just uh, sit there and okay. put your hands on the wheel and enjoy it. Okay. And there's, but there's no, um, there's no, nothing I should know about like for safety purposes. Besides, just I just sit here and pay attention, and that's that's about it. Oh yeah, you have to pay attention. Right. Yeah. That's the that's the top priority. Okay. So this is um, not not autonomous driving. It's driver assisted yes. driving. Yeah. Or robot assisted driving. Or it's yeah. driver assisted. Driver not, assist? Yeah, not driver itself. Okay. <laughs> driver assist, not drive itself. So it, it changes lanes quite a bit? Yeah. Because the, there's a slower car in, in the front, you know, the, there's a truck. Right. Yeah. And now the, it's going to change back probably, right? Because it just, uh, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. We'll Does, see. Yeah, yeah, see? Okay, so now it changes back. So is that... Is that um, to allow cars to pass, or because it wants to pass this guy? Yeah, because it's a slow car. Okay. So, like in America or Germany or you know most Western countries, like we're supposed to pass on the on the left only. Yeah, on the left. Only. So, but in in, in Xpeng or in China, they just if the car's slower, it just passes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> nice. And then you also. You also did your presentation. You said it can like identify trucks and different types of rooftops or something. Uh, yes, yes. So you can you can see this on the on the surrounding reality. Right. Yeah. 
and yeah. that's hard. Okay. And it can see bicycles, of course, and it can see pedestrians and. Yeah, sometimes you can see the pedestrians, but there's not a lot of people, you know, walking on. The <laughs> yeah, not, not not on the highway. Yeah. Um, and this also works just as well on in the city in traffic. No, no, only highway right now. No, I mean, but it, so it doesn't. It does. Oh, you have to put the hands. I have to hold it. Okay. Yeah, you have to hold it. Okay. Uh, but it's a you know it's a torque sensor, so sometimes you have to you know. So if I if I drove it in the in the city mm -hmm. in traffic, mm -hmm. it wouldn't it wouldn't work as well. I mean I won't say this if you mean the NGP. Yeah yeah yeah. The NGP won't work. It won't work. Yeah it won't. Okay. Yeah the NGP only work in the highway right now. Okay. On highway and on navigation. Okay. So right now the navigation we already. We already put in the the route, yeah, so now we're just before. now we're just cruising. Okay, and you also talked about in your presentation that it can do these wide yeah, wide the these wide turns by itself. Okay. Check it out. There we go. It's turning. And now the speed limit is sixty here, right? So that's why we're going so slow. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm craw <laughs> crawling along here. Not crawling. It's just to be safe. I know. But if I was driving it myself, I wouldn't be going 60. Uh, 7 or 80. Yeah, at least. 70 or 80. Yeah. The last time I drove Model 3 on this way is uh, like 90, 96. <laughs> but it's too fast, I mean. Even for me, I think it's too fast. What's the max speed in China on the highway? 120? Uh, 120, yes. Yeah. And what is the director over here taking notes on? He's uh, seeing if it works. The thing is works. Jin Chang, Jin Chang. Change okay. the line. Okay. Or so I'm like the beta tester. <laughs> <laughs> if we crash, we crash. Here we go. Please don't. I just finished up doing another test drive of the Xpeng P7. The activity was to test the new NGP Navigation Guided Pilot Level 3 Autonomous Driving. It's the first time I've ever driven you know, a Level 3 Autonomous Driving car. And initially it was kind of weird, to be honest. Like, you know, you're not used to letting the car drive itself. And it's crazy how, how quickly you just become like accustomed to it and used to it and you know I was just not even paying attention I mean I was paying attention but you know I wasn't it wasn't like shocking to me the car was driving itself after you know just a few minutes initially it was, it was shocking or just weird but uh, it became quite normal after just a few minutes it was really cool it's not fully autonomous driving you know it's driver assistance so there was a couple times where I had to step in there was like a big weird crash in front of us like trucks were uh, slamming on their brakes and I kind of had to also. I don't think the car would have stopped in time, but it might have, I don't know. But I didn't let it get to that point. And there was another time when a crazy idiot like swerved in front of me and then the car tried to avoid it and it um, almost crossed a, a solid line, which of course is illegal. And the uh, assistant man that was sitting next to me actually reached over and kept the car from from avoiding it so I also had to hit my brakes at that point too um, but the car probably also would have avoided it no problem so overall I was really impressed with that last time I drove the p7 it was just a regular model uh, the acceleration was like 0 to 100 kilometers in like 5 point something seconds nothing to sneeze at right but nothing that impressive either it's just a kind of a regular car and uh, this time with the performance model it's 0 to 100 in 4.3 seconds and you feel the difference it's crazy it's night and day um, so I would definitely say when this car comes to your country or if you're interested in this car just the just the performance alone just the acceleration alone it feels like a different vehicle I came away from my initial p7 test drive you know a couple months ago not that impressed and a lot of people were like you know you weren't fair to the car maybe they thought I gave misinformation because you know I, I was giving the information that the the salesman was giving me about the car I was driving Whereas today I was driving a different model and, you know, the, the specs are different and the car is different. It's still a mid-range car. It's not a luxury car. It's a different market from, from, you know, for example, Neo. It was better this time than last time. As far as interior or design or anything like that, you know, that's still, your mileage may vary. That's still very subjective. Uh, I think my opinion on that still stands the same as last time. So I don't need to go into that. 
you know, I, I would say my impressions of the car this time are better than last time. This is definitely a solid mid-range car and the NGP is really impressive. I think if you're gonna buy a P7, you go with the performance model for sure. The price isn't that different, but the performance is, for me, it, I would rather have, I'd rather have the better performance than better range. So, anyway, I just wanna say really thank you to Xpung for reaching out to me and letting me do this. They were super friendly, super nice. And uh, I hope that this time I gave them a, a more fair shake than last time. Um, not that they implied I didn't, but I know that they did want me to get a better understanding of the car. So I did that, I hope, today. And I hope I gave you a fair little assessment. Still not a review. This time longer. This time I spent an hour in the car, so I have better understanding of, of the car this time. <coughs> Other than that, just don't forget to give me a, a big thumbs up and subscribe if you can, and I will see you on the next one. So take care of yourself. Have a good one. Sai chian. And please subscribe. Thank you. I'm really tired. I just flew in from uh, Sichuan Battle last night at like 3 in the morning at the Shenzhen, and then I drove to Guangzhou today. I slept for like two hours. Mm. All right, subscribe, thank you, bye-bye.